IB Physics M2025 Time Zone 2 SL Paper 1A Question 7. A block of ice of mass M is at its melting point. A smaller mass M of water at a temperature of T degrees Celsius is placed on the top surface of the ice and remains there. The specific latent heat of fusion of ice is L and the specific heat capacity of water is C. What mass of ice melts? Okay, so here we have ice which has a much larger mass than the water. So that means that the temperature of the ice isn't going to change. It's going to stay at zero degrees Celsius while melting. That means that the water must cool down to zero degrees Celsius in order for thermal equilibrium to be reached. And this is zero degrees Celsius because we're given that the block of ice is at its melting point, which is zero degrees Celsius. So the change in temperature for the water is going to be T. It starts at T and cools down all the way to zero. So the change is T. Now, as the water cools, it's going to lose heat. And the heat loss is given by the equation Q is equal to MC delta T, which is commonly called MCAT. Now delta T is T, so we have MC times T. And this heat goes into melting the ice. Now the energy that is required to melt a mass of ice, where I'm going to use, instead of uppercase M, I'm going to say M sub ice. That is given by Q is equal to M sub ice times L. Now this time it's not mc delta t because we are in phase change. It is already at the point of melting. And then by conservation of energy, all the heat from the water goes into melting the ice. So these two are equal to each other. We have the mass of the ice times the specific latent, latent heat of fusion of the ice equal to m. C, T. So the mass of ice that melts is, well, you just divide each side by L is MCT divided by L. So the answer is A.